Hello and welcome. Today we are taking a look at Guidus Zero. This is being developed by Izzle and published by Come To Us Holdings, who are sponsoring today. So, uh, the story goes, we've got this big rift. The scar has opened up in the world, and our job is to go in and explore it. Uh, by the way, this is, this is uh, going to be hitting early access here on November 25th. I'll have links down below, of course, and you can check it out. Wish lists, all the good stuff. There's our scar we're going to explore. we got different uh, characters that, as we play the game, will slowly unlock. Uh, and different spirits that will come in and, and sort of change the way the way we play. It has a very interesting... It's So it's it's a uh, it's an action roguelike style of game. Run around, hack and slash. However, it's got this grid-based this grid -based system. And so it plays differently than what's, what it looks like. So anyways, we're going to try it out, though, and see... See how many times I can die today. Probably none, depending on how I edit this video. Anyway, we're sailing about. There's a scar. What are we doing? Let's go explore it. Wonder what could be down there. And so as we go in, we've got sort of this home base at the top level. And we're going to dive down into it. And find all kinds of stuff. Typically, this is best played, of course, with controller. I'm not a controller guy, though, so I'm going to be using mouse. Not not mouse, just keyboard. All right, so we, we crashed. It's troubling. We can't fin finish our expedition. Outrageous. Let's go find some folks. Let's find a safe place. All right, all right. Let's get on with it. This kind of shows how the combat works. I'm not doing this. This is all cutscene style. Uh, but I'm just using arrow keys and like QWE. Basically my, my keys and space bar. And we'll see as it comes in here. Alright, welcome to the Forbidden Forest. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I move with my arrow keys. And this sort of grid grid based thing. And then I can hit W to attack stuff. That's, that's the basics of the game. Like that. Sometimes we find things in these in these grasses. If I like move, hold the button, in, uh, and I do kind of a, 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 a charge attack, I can hit space bar for dodge, and we'll get new things as as stuff comes in. Oh, I think I can do it now. I have E for a cool attack. Let's head down. I got one healing potion you can see over there in the bottom right. I'll open up all these things over here in just a minute. But anyway, you can see, so everything, it's grid-based, yet yeah, it's also real-time. Don't mind the, the the helpful thing. I guess I can hit escape, make it go away. But the helpful thing will be there in in, in the way in, in just for a minute. You can see my my timer down there in the, in the bottom, which is my my cooldown for that, that cool charge through thing, which is very cool. Which I tried to hit, but it's not off the cooldown yet. If I could get them lined up, it would really work out really well. Or hit it whenever it's actually off cooldown. See where they're gonna hit there. Yeah, we just we just dodge that. It's no problem. I should use I should get used to my my dash a little more. There we go. It takes a minute to get used to because it's like you know walking around on a grid and not not just free roaming. Anyway, we'll, we'll break some bushes, we'll pick up some hearts, and we'll feel uh, feel all better. You see the map up there in the top right. Uh, I don't think I can hit. I can't hit tab or M just yet, but we'll we'll see that as soon as we get out of this tutorial land. Can I close that? Oh yeah, there we go. We can dodge things, you know. Dodge, more dodge. Open some doors. Hey, look, it's things. We'll get artifacts. Uh, there's, there's artifacts, and there's a few things we can get along the way. And so each playthrough, of course, is going to be that's kind of what it revolves around. You can, we're going to be dying, and we'll get new things, and then we'll open up. It will unlock new things, new characters, and all kinds of stuff will start showing up as we die, basically. We have a Twisted Axe, which throws an axe backhand with every basic attack. Or we can just have bees. Bees. And you know what? If you ever get the option to have just bees, I think you take it. I can't think of any situation where it wouldn't be good to have bees buzzing around everywhere. I don't even need to hit those. I can just walk into them and they break some. Head first. Uh, let's go. We're this way. 
So we got big guy. Let's avoid him. If I can uh, get him lined up. Stop moving around. I should probably not stand in that stuff. There we go. Get, let me give him a dodge down. Okay. Get him! Oh, he's back. Take that. Get him out. So the uh, the special move is basically saying like um, so I can hit W and attack, or I can I can like I've shown before I can hold up and, and it'll sort of lunge. Which that's what takes a bit a bit to get used to because um, I don't know it, it's it's a cross between like a turn based tactical, but it's not turn based. So it, it takes a bit to get used to. Ugh. world is that happening? Found the crew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unknown force. Ellipsis. Uh, Captain? Stay away uh, from me. Alright, Captain. Sounds like it's time for me to be Captain. Oh, the old charge through old Zeph 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 Zephyrus has a lot of hit points. Dodge. Charge through. Uh, when I dodge, I should probably try enough. You can't... No, I, I did it on purpose. Uh, you, you can't... You can't dodge through people. That's another That's another thing so different. I'm used to, you know, being able to just, like, roll through everyone, roll around everywhere. You can't do that. So you're gonna be kind of... You're gonna be real, uh... Conscious of where you are standing. And, uh, where you're, you know... Tactical. Much more tactical than just running around hacking and slashing. This guy's kind of hurting me a little bit. Here we go. So, like, the, uh, this, this ability goes, goes through. Well, sometimes. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I didn't lose. I didn't lose. That's a cutscene. Let's get to the real game. What's going on? Fortunately, I wasn't too late. <clears throat> what, what was that? I offer my deepest gratitude. May the blessing something. Wait a moment, it's not... It's better not to push yourself right now. If it get weaker, I may not be able to help anymore. Uh, but... Are you okay? Am I alive? Okay, welcome to Beginning Land. Hello, Solon. You were on the ship with us. A human? How'd you end up here? Uh, I was crossing to the uh, the central continent when the ship was wrecked in the storm. I must have drifted here. Mm -hmm. uh, then you found the right place. This is Central Continent. My name is Dahlia. I'm here searching for the missing advance team. Uh, that doesn't mean. I somehow made it to the central continent. I'm Solon. I joined the guild as an apprentice architect, but now I'm the only one left. Who's the old woman? I just met her as well. I'm not old, she says. I'm Hazel. Hazel, I need to investigate the scar again. You, need, you seem to know a lot about this place. A massive sinkhole suddenly appeared. Yeah, that's the story. People are calling it the scar. I'm investigating this anomaly. Currently, time is trapped inside the scar. What do you mean? It's literally what it means. Time within the scar is disconnected from the outside. Simply put, time can infinitely loop inside the scar. Does that mean our expedition team can still be safe? Depending on the, when the loop started, it's possible. You going back in there? Yes. It's too reckless to go alone. I have a duty that I must fulfill. Take this with you. I was able to move freely within the scar because of the magic stone. It allowed me to break free from the flow of time when my life was in danger. 
There's only one. Only one person can go. You're more suited than I am. Some sort of emergency escape device. Got it. Okay. Let's, let's get in there. Thanks, Hazel. Hey. Let's get back in there. Welcome to the Scar Gateway. There's a giant stone statue of bravery, apparently. Uh, let's go walking down the steps. To the scar, to the forbidden forest, to the entrance of the scar, deep within the overgrown forest, ancient creatures. <clears throat> Welcome back. Okay, now now we're free to go. So now we can do some things. We can see stuff. So we have these spirits that will show up in time, <clears throat> and basically every time we die. Not that I will ever die, but every time you die or certain things happen, new things unlock. Like for instance, the spirits when we see them here. Um, We'll have... I can't look at the stones right now. Uh, yeah, I can. Stone. We don't have any stones yet. We'll see those in a minute. Artifact. I did have one. But I guess I lost it. The uh, That bees thing is, I think, an artifact. And then what was the other one we had? Uh, tab was... Uh, my, oh, my trait. I can level up. I can level up. We can change. So my moonlight slash is my dash that I've got. My damaging dash. And as we level up, we can change those around. Now, we got multiple characters in this game. We only have the one unlocked at the moment. That's what she does. Uh, and then, of course, our map is that. So let's go head on down here. I'm gonna go and uh, get this guy. I'm gonna try and not dodge. Okay, it's 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 such a like. I gotta I gotta fix fix my brain to not try to dodge three people. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Sort of fireball dude over here. There's m more. Take that. Oh, we went in here. There we go. Okay. There's not. I don't know what, what decides how many phases of them are. there are. Sometimes there's one phase of them, sometimes there's two phases. It always seems like a good idea to come through here, especially when I'm hurt, to charge through these bushes, because there's, sometimes there's hearts. I've found two so far. There we go. Okay, next. Uh, oh, I got something. I got a stone. I picked up a stone. So there is a stamina stone. I will store that in my belt. So now I get plus two stamina. I don't see where my stats... I'm not entirely sure where my stats are. That show my what stamina does for me. I mean, I know what stamina does. It's, it's, it's the number up. It's the yellow bar up there. So, I suppose it just gives me two more. I got stuck behind that guy. There we go. I was in the wrong button. Hey, level up! Okay, is there more? Yeah. That cooldown is not fast enough. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I could use a healing potion. I kind of messed that one up a little bit. Uh, oh, I got my max heal. Okay, so we will use healing potion. And pick that one up. There we go. Okay, now let's level up. We're gonna hit. Okay. Okay, so I've got I've got the moonlight slash. Of course, we can do. We can, I, I dive forward three tiles and do 300 damage. It does really good. I can make it where I'm invincible whenever I do it, which could be useful. Or I can go one additional tile. Uh, this one gives me a lunar sword blast spread. Okay, I'm just gonna take this one because I wanna I wanna be invincible. Next best thing to bees, invincibility. Walk through all these. I just think I saw he had like glowy eyes for a second. I think the 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 the, 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 dif the different thing, the thing that's hardest to get round is like you want to go fast and the way that this this sort of grid based thing it doesn't necessarily like you need to go fast but it doesn't necessarily benefit you to go um so fast you're not thinking about what you're doing if that makes any sense 
You gotta go tactically fast. Which is kind of difficult. Also, make sure your cooldowns are ready. There it goes. There we go. Ooh, a key. I'll take a key. And I see something else glowing down here. Was there a stone in there? I didn't see it. I do have something on my tab. I, oh, I got two stones. I got two hit point stones. Why you pop them in? There we go. Nice. Okay, so I got four more hit points and two more stamina. Since I'm not quite all hit pointed up, I will stomp on some grass. Let's go over here. And that lightning dash is great. Need a less, lesser cooldown though. One of these days I'll get two. I'll get two of them in a line, and it'll be real great. Okay. okay. There we go. Do you damage each other? I don't think so. Is that all of them? Yeah. Ooh. What do we have here? This is not a trait. This is... Oh, okay. That, that, so that was, a, that was a crystal thing. Um, hey, there's my numbers. Uh, so we will use those when or if I die. We will, we will use those. Which... I'm gonna die. Go, uh, let's go open that one up, and let's go over here. Take a look around, says shopkeeper. There's what, there's there's some shards we can spend. I don't know how many I have. Oh, I've got 145 of those, and I got one of those ruby shard things. So there's a key. Uh, I got three keys. I don't need any more of those. There's a potion. I got max potion, and this one is de deals damage to all enemies equal to the amount of hit points recovered. This isn't like an ability. How much does it cost? I'm short. Where's the, where's the prices of these things? 200 for that one. Seven, 700. So I can buy a key. I don't need a dang key. I already got enough keys. And I'm out of here. Okay, let's go. I'm going to avoid that top room because I think that might be where... I think it's right. I think they're procedurally generated here. I'm almost certain it is. But I have a feeling that top room is where the big boss man is. So we're going to go this way first. And open up a chest. And I can get an artifact. So, creates mirror shards that orbit around you. Projectiles disappear upon contact with the shards. Or, finds a four-leaf clover with 2% chance when moving. Increases crit rate by 30%. And black blood gain 50% for 10 seconds. Uh, I'll take some mirror shards, I suppose. Sounds exciting. Yeah, there it is, right there. So if there's any sort of projectiles coming at me, that'll that'll work. That would have worked. That would have worked in the previous rooms pretty well. Smack my face into these barrels here. Any uh, any any hearts? No, no hearts. Okay, so let's go back over this way. We'll figure out what that black blood is. I think we'll get those those like that seems like a that seems strange. Black blood. Uh, we'll we'll get those answers. I think here in a minute. Let's go up this way. To the north. Big boss man. Alright, big boss tree man. He calls himself Shadow Whisper. We're gonna charge him, we're gonna hit him a bunch of times. So most mostly, you know, avoid the red squares. This is what I can handle. I'm gonna charge this guy. Ouch! And then we he's gonna do this. Avoid Biny things. I didn't avoid that one at all. Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm 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 uh, trying to not die. Oh, 
avoid those. My, uh, oh, my glass worked. Nice. Oh, I walked into that one. We'll wait for these to go by. And then charge. I got him almost down to the first arrow. My uh, my thing worked again. Nice. Ouch. Here. Okay, charge. I'm real bad about dodging those sometimes. I can hit a, po a potion. There we go. Ouch. I was looking at my potion. Meter. No, I'm stuck. Okay, we're down below the first triangle at least. Ouch. I'm out of healing potions. Nope. Uh, where is the... There it is. Oh, two of them. Okay. Oh, oh. I got one hit. Okay, there we go. I gotta say, I did this, I was playing around with this before, getting used to the game and all that. I did much better that time than I did the first time. I'm patting myself on the back as we speak. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the beginning land of the camp. Hey, camp looks a little different than it did last time. Alright, let's have a chat with the old lady. Oh, Hazel. Where am I? Uh, the magic stone seems to be working fine. Was there anything unusual? I'm glad you tested it on my death. For a moment, I felt like I, was, I felt like my consciousness was being scattered. Quite disorienting. As expected, uh, as expected of, a, of an elf attuned to mana, you didn't suffer any side effects when the magic stone was activated. That's a relief. Magic stone seems stable for now, so there shouldn't be any issues with the investigation. Depending on the person, they might not be able to understand it. Their head could explode. They could revert to a child or even age rapidly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Thanks for the heads up. That's what I was thinking. But I knew you could handle it. How much time passed since I was was down? I knew Solon was an architect, but it seems this place has changed a lot in a short time. It's been two days. Time inside the scar flows much slower than outside. I didn't mean to cause you such worry. By the way, Solon wants to talk to you. Okay. Okay. You have a, um... She can enhance my abilities. If I have those... Those ruby things, or whatever they are, I can spin them to get more damage more HP, that kind of stuff with her. Let's talk with old soul in here. Uh, you want to talk to me? Uh, you're back. I was worried uh, when you rushed into the scar. No big deal. By the way, where are we? Uh, here we are. This is a temporary camp I made by modifying the ship I came in on. I ended up staying here since I'm all alone. Couldn't go anywhere else. Hazel helped. Uh, feel free to look around. Okay. Now, we can come here. We can decorate the ship. So this is our home base, and we can change, so we got the figurehead there is ruined, but we can change it if we want. If I have some blueprints, I haven't found any blueprints yet, but we'll find blueprints which will allow us to adjust this, and not only just make it cooler, but it also gives us bonuses like attack bonuses and more black blood, and whatever else. We can change not only the, the figurehead, we can change the elevator look, we can change the, uh, the, the lamps if we want, but again, this all takes blueprints, which we have found none so far. I don't know if it's, that's way back over that way. I don't, think I, can, I don't think I can use the lift yet. The lift is... Yeah, I don't think. Not yet. No lift yet. All right, nothing else. We gotta go back in there. Let's get back in there. Let's get back. Let's do it again. What happened to the advanced team? Uh, my head again. Come. 
Question mark. Come to the deepest part of this world. The voice is getting clearer. Excuse me, what happened? Hello, Yoru. Hello, this time you're not a human wizard, are you? Where are you heading? I'm on my way to find the comrades I lost in the scar, noble white dog beastkin. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fox. Lost comrades, huh? Uh, I've seen many elves corrupted by the black blood. Cause of the black substance, after all. You're carrying the stone that the wizard had. You might be able to save us. Maybe even me. I'll lend you the power of the spirits, but from now on the spirits will be with you. Please handle them with care. Ah, spirits. Remember I mentioned spirits at the beginning of this, and you're probably wondering, where's all these spirits at? Well, you have you have found them. They don't do much with me yet. They have a mysterious power granted to me by the friendly beastkin, Yoru. I can collect the power of the spirits sealed in artifacts. Uh, the bomb with the spirits, uh, bomb with spirits to gain various effects. And uh, they will break when I get back to camp. Okay, so we can't really do anything with them yet. Um, I want another one. I want uh, Tam up. So, again, I kind of showed this before, but we don't really have anything we can do with them yet. Eventually, we'll, we'll get things. But not yet. Depending on which way we go, it doesn't matter. We go down the same place no matter what. So down we go. Back to the Forbidden Forest. I had such a good time in the Forbidden Forest before I thought, you know what? I, I gotta do this again. Um, I guess I don't need that because I'm already full hit points. I need three of those ruby things and I can buy stuff from, from the old lady. Now I can't dodge through the bat. I'm trying, I'm trying to think. I'm trying, I'm trying to slow it down. It's such, it's such a, a... I just feel like I gotta go fast, but I don't really have to go fast. I just gotta think about where I'm going. Just step out of the way. It's not about, like, being a pixel away. It's about just knowing the, the grid, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> um, I can level up my... So we have the Moonlight Slash, right? We can do Nimble Movement. Applies invincibility when casting. Oh, I already got that one. Oh, I didn't because I because I died or whatever in it. And it reset things. I, yeah, I want that one. I didn't get hurt, so I don't need any hearts. I just need, I don't know, a key or something. Okay, let's go this way. Nice. That seems to be like a one one hit thing. If I can get him with that dash, like one hit. Oh, yeah, I just pick up a blueprint. I think I might. I think I might have. I need a few. I need a bunch of those to be able to fix the fix up the ship. But avoid the purple fi uh, fires. Yeah, I kind of. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm full. I need more potion space. What if I could have left it there and then come back? That I bet I could have. Is this boss man? That one. Ouch. There you go. Hey. That worked okay. Uh, I got another, another healing potion. 
need it. I'm gonna try leaving it and see what happens. Maybe I'll need it later on. Because I have to shoot me. Get rid of those. And I'm gonna try saving it. See what it goes. If this is the boss, not yet. So boss had like he had a cool door. Is that one of those stones there? I think it might be. Right into that one. Oh man, I thought I'd avoid that. Good thing I got that healing potion in the other room. Done. Oh, another healing potion? What am I gonna do with all these? I guess I'll heal myself with them. These are. I can't break these. No, they're just there to. It's there to be annoying. There's boss man. Okay, so we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna we'll clear out everything else before we go to boss guy. Um, it's the tree guy again. Oh, hey, shop dude. Five hundred for that. Eighty for what? Blocks all damage one time. Hmm. Or another potion. Um, I th I, I'm sure I'm gonna find something cooler than than those. One damage resist. Eh, I'll never use that right. So we got one more door down here we can check out to the south. Let's go. Let's go there. Down. Down one more. Waltz on over here. Oh hey. I seem to get this room last. Increase hit points by 10. Cool. Divine Punishment aims for a random target in the room, including yourself. Every 10 seconds, strikes the target, dealing 10 damage to you and 200% damage to the enemy. I'm willing to take that chance. That sounds like what I want. That's great. I need more chaos. More chaotic spells like that. I didn't find any uh, stones in here, did I? Okay, so we're all healed up. Thanks for that heart. Ready for boss man. You know, if the, uh, if the lightning hits him a bunch of times, if I get lucky, I think I'll be all right. I don't know if I'll be able to kill him this round. Give it a good, give it a good try. Halo tree, hello again. lightning going off yet. But I'm not, you know, I may be missing it. Oh, that, is that one that just hit it? I think it was. Ah, ah. Oh, they're coming at me. Back here. And ouch. Back one. Ow. Oh, ow. Oh. That lightning is working because I'm good. I got a lot more damage this, this time than I had last time. Yeah, that's good. That's one and then back two, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that lightning is good stuff. Break his roots, or whatever they are. Ow. Hit my button right by the uh, very end there. I didn't hit him. Oh, I got him this time.
wait, that one. And then that one. And then that one. And then charge. Good, thank you, lightning. I don't think lightning's hit me yet. I think I may be lucky here. Back there. Okay, front one. And the back one. Oh, I missed it. Overshot. Oh, what am I doing? Back, 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 back. And... Boy, those. Dodge. I should dodge more. Did I get him? Done? Hey! I got him! Nice, that's a scary chest. Now I have to get my level up first. Now I can get Lunar Blast spread from enemies hit by Moonlight Slash, uh huh, or increase Moonlight Slash force. I don't care about one. I want it more. Okay, uh, open it up. I would like one surprise chest is hidden in each room. Stuns all enemies for three seconds when you find the chest, or activates hit point recovery one more time. The ten percent chance. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm gonna take it. One more time. What's up here? Is there another boss? Do we need to go get that potion back there? Oh, the stairs down. Of course, we're going down into a scar. Okay. Okay. Get out of the way, bushes. of the Forbidden Forest. Anything new here? Yep. Oh, a cooldown! Oh, that lightning thing is is incredible. I think I, I, think I found the best, thing, the, best, the best thing in the game. Ooh, big guy. Big guy does some damage. Lightning bolt, thank you. What's he gonna do? What's he doing? Nice. Is that all you got? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the lightning bolt is what's kind of keeping me alive here. I could really use some hit points though. Let's grab those. Let me go look, uh, where are the hit points at? Are they up here? Yeah, this is the hit point room. I can feel it. Oh. Artifact. I can have, uh, increase my, increase my crit chance, or, uh, turn, turn, turns 10 random tiles into sanctuaries for 30 seconds when entering a room. Increases attack by 20% when, when in a sanctuary tile. Okay, this is gonna add even more to, like, the, the tacticalness of this. So, in here, uh, my spirit bond. Is that changing anything? Yeah, so I've got like two fire. One water. I got three lightning. I'm not sure what's, what's, I haven't quite figured those out yet. Anyway, let's keep on picking these up. I'm gonna see, if, we'll get one of those filled up and see what happens. healing potions. Remember all those healing potions in the last room? I could use some of those right now. Oh, I'm going to, oh yeah, I got it. Sanctuary space. So I can do that. Oh, not if I hit the button wrong. What's he doing? Oh, ow, ow. That was my, light, my own lightning.
and see what happens now. Right, so like two more days have passed. Let's chat. Actually, you got nothing to say. Uh, I do have enough to enhance this, so I can either I can make increase my damage reduction to 10%. That seems like a really good one. It cost me my five that I've got. Hit points, stamina, attack power. I'm gonna take the damage reduction. That seems that seems very important, especially the way I play. Uh, we can chat with you. Anything you can say, buddy? Nope. Don't got anything to say to me. And how many blueprints do I have? Where do I see how many I have? I don't know how many I am. Stones. I didn't find any stones that last time either. No artifacts. No spirit. Well, okay, okay. Well, let's take a look. Oops. I'm gonna try to put in. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know I don't have 30. Can we put in her? I don't have enough blueprints. I think I. Oh, I've got. I've got one. I see it right there. I can change my, I can change the elevator around. There's other rooms down there, so we, I guess we'll do a little bit like a base building thing, I, I guess, as, as time goes on. Cost three for that. Any of these? Oh, they're all, they're all too much. I kind of want to see if I can go down here. No, not yet. Not yet. All right, well, that's probably a good look at it. We're going back into that. We'll see if anyone, anything pops up here as we as we venture venture down. I'm not sure if we need to kill Tree Man again, or if we can continue to the the, the deeper level. Here we go. We got. We get a chat. Hello, Theron. I can't seem to go any deeper, says Theron. Dwarf, is something wrong, says Dahlia. That's an elf thing to say. Well, an elf. I haven't seen one in a long time. I'm Theron. I'm Dahlia. I haven't seen a dwarf in 80 years. 80 years ago, huh? That was during the war. I'm investigating this new crystal discovered after the sinkhole appeared, but the past few days I haven't been able to go any deeper. Something's invisible is blocking my way. I'm moving through with the help of a wizard. Can I help you with something? I'd appreciate it if you could. If you see some kind of crystal go down there, get it for me. There's those, those stones we saw, which gives us the, the, the stones. Yeah, yeah, we know what those are. My special power is to enhance the abilities of one who possesses it. I need to investigate it. I feel like I've seen it before. You probably have. It keeps growing as if it were alive. Take this bag. Put the stones from the crystals in it when you find them. They're quite fragile. If not stored in the special belt of the bag, they'll break. Become useless pebbles. You can only hold five stones. Be careful. Broken stones lose their power. Okay. Anything else to say to me? Nope. Nothing else to say to me. I'm curious. When we head back down, do we get to... Do we start at the... I always do it. We are still in the Forbidden Forest. Yep. Welcome back to the Forbidden Forest. This is a good place to call it a day. This is Guidus Zero. It is out on Steam November 25th in early access. I'll have links below and you can check it out. Wishlist. Pick it up on its 10% launch discount. Thanks, Izzle, and come to us come to us holdings for sponsoring today. And I hope everyone has a good one.